As relaxes in the sofa area was getting us into the holiday spirit. There's no better way to get into the spirit than throwing a wonderful dinner party for friends and family. And here to show us a great creative festive tablescape that's not going to break the bank is designer Courtney Novogratz. Welcome back. Hi, Mark. It's nice Thanks to have for you having back. me. So you're just helping us in this situation. You're a bigger entertainer, though. I, I am. Mean, we happen to have seven kids, my husband and I. So yeah. there's Amazing. always someone extra at our table, so whether it's the holidays or not. So clearly you have tips. I have a lot of tips. I always start off with the fact, just entertain. Nothing is perfect. And throughout the years, my husband and I have been collecting vintage plates. You can pick them up anywhere. They're they can beautiful. be, yeah, they can be at a tag sale, a garage sale, the Salvation Army. And a lot of times it's hard to find an entire set. So I really recommend you buy just one plate. It may have a ship on it, a bird on it, but it's a conversation piece. When you say vintage, I think expensive though. No, you can get them, at, especially if it's really? not an entire set, you can get them for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. a great one for like a yep. dollar. Yep. And they right. usually have a story. You know, yeah. they'll have a monogram or something going on. But some people are afraid to entertain because there's like so much, you know, tension that's going to be wrong. Yeah, I have dollar plates, so if they break, <laughs> it's no problem. Perfect. It's no problem. Well, you it's started, um, you you started earlier on what you're going to show some centerpiece yes, stuff. Yes, okay? a DIY project. I always have a house full of people, whether it's my own kids, our nieces and nephews, and I start with printing music notes like Christmas carols, jingle uh -huh. bells, and then to give it a vintage feel, an antique feel, I do a tea bag to dye them so you get kind of that old look. Could you use coffee grounds? You can use coffee, coffee grounds, grounds and then you lay them out to dry. And then any household product, like an oat milk can, peanut can, you want to make sure that it's a flat can, not like a soup, bowl, a soup can, because that has ripples. You sure. cut the music sheets to the appropriate size of the, the can that you're using, and you just glue it on. Did it's you just very, say, very would simple. you not rip that out of a mag, out of a machine? No, you can music. print it off print your it. home printer. Okay. Everyone has a home printer, and yep. just to make it look vintage, because the paper's so white, I always try to, you know, antique it. And then you glue it on, and then, of course, you can put all kinds of things, like licorice inside, you can put flowers, candy canes. You know, my kids do all kinds of projects yeah. with this. Are you a DIYer, so you know? Uh, do you, uh, well, no. you do you projects? <laughs> you are now. You are now. I, I, I am now. If you now. didn't want to say put Dave Cos music on your on these things, what else could you, you do? You could do like you could these do spiritual cool. verses, Bible verses. You can do like the night before Christmas, old Christmas oh, stories, neat. anything. I mean, my kids do all old world map. Exactly. All oh, seven yeah. of my kids choose their Christmas carols, and we glue it on. And then basically, when I have the dinner party, what I do is take my napkin, I print the music notes here, so everyone has the lyrics. Lyrics, and you basically get a little, you know, a little bell for like five bucks at any yeah. store, craft store. Just wrap it around the silverware, put a little greenery in it. I am really and it's going to really use this. Really simple. This, isn't this a I great idea? I am absolutely going to use this for all my dinner parties. This is, I mean, it, just for like, just in general. And it's fun, and you can do little notes to people. So it's not just Christmas carols, but it's a great way to like have a musical dinner party. But what I love too, it's repurposing things. Yes. You the know? only thing I bought was the bells. What, were the bells? The bells. That's great. I yeah. happened to have ribbon. I had cloth napkins, and I had a home printer, and I had and, glue. Yeah. <laughs> And then everybody pulls the sheet music out and you all sing. Yeah, and it's really fun because you do it a few days before the actual Christmas dinner. Sure. So it gives a project to do with your cousins or your nieces and nephews or sure. your children. And then you set the table with it. You could you could also make this like a quiz or riddles that, about people and personal things. You could. Things or things about do. Christmas. Like yeah. why do we celebrate Christmas? Right. And then you read it around the table and it allows people to stay longer at the dinner table. And I want to ask you because I know you have a new book coming out. I do. Which is called? It's not celebrating Christmas, but it's Beachside um, Bohemian. And it's about beachside decorating. Um, and since you know we're the last day of Christmas here and going back to normal yeah. life of July, yeah. it's a great book that you can pre-order on Amazon. Your that stuff is, is so always beautiful. so fascinating.